Welcome back to my channel. If you are on vacation for at least a week or 10 days, and if there is no one to water your plants, thanks to a few simple and practical methods that I will tell you, your plants will not be dehydrated even while you are away, and they will water themselves. Now, what are these techniques? Let's watch together. Before moving on the simple techniques, let's start with the technique that provides a very difficult controlled irrigation. We need to drill a hole and fix the plastic part that you have seen in this hand to the bottom side of a hard pet bottle. You can do this process with a heated screwdriver. You can find this product from the place that sells aquarium supplies. I use TPs attached to the air hose and the valves to regulate the airflow. We use hot silicon so that water does not drip from the hole we will fix. When gluing with the hot silicon from the inside, you need to fill it around with hot silicon from the outside as well. Then, in order for you to adjust the water flow, we use the valve that will provide water flow at the other end while fixing the air hose which is also used in aquariums to this end. You complete the process by attaching the hose of the desired length to the end of the valve. In a moment we will do this process with a 5 liter pet bottle sold in grocery stores. This time we will fix the hose directly without using the T-unit. Now let's learn about the construction of other simpler systems. Method 1. Find a hard bottle such as a Pepsi bottle and drill two holes in the bottom, one at the bottom and one at the top, one centimeter apart from each other. Put it in the tray and put water in the bottle and close the lid. The water will drain into the tray from the hole at the bottom. The water flow stops when the water in the tray reaches the level of the hole at the top. When you take a little water from the tray, the water flow starts until the hole is closed because air enters through the hole at the top. As the pots you put in the tray absorbs the water they need, the water in the tray will come back to the level of the hole at the top and the flow will stop again. Second method, choose your pet bottle according to the area you will irrigate. Buy an air hose and an air tab from a curium supply store. We will fix this hose near the bottom of the pet bottle. Make a small hole with a soldering iron or a heated screwdriver. Insert the hose through this hole. Squeeze hot silicon around the hose. Push the hose inwards so that the silicon covers the hole and wait for it to dry. Connect the hose of the desired size to the end of the tap and our irrigation system is ready. Put the bottle somewhere up from the pot and extend the hose into the potting soil. Make sure to keep the bottle lid open and adjust the desired dripping speed from the tap. Method 3. Take a pet bottle and mark the places where we will add the sticks to the bottom so that it stands on the edge of the flower pot. Prepare three sturdy sticks of the same size. Fix the two sticks firmly in the places you have marked on the pet bottle.
thanks to doing this we will make this pet bottle stay still on the flower pot. Fix the bottle to the edge of the pot, it should be above the ground level. You can use shoelaces for this job. You can also use a rope that absorbs water. Release the rope to the bottom of the bottle so that it absorbs the water. Tie the rope to the end of the third stick you have prepared and give it a slight slope towards the ground. You can see that the water starts to drip within a few minutes. A 2 half litre bottle is emptied in 5 to 6 days. Fourth method. There are irrigation units sold on the market. A practical tool that can be installed in the mouth of the bottle. The flow level of the water can be adjusted. You need to be careful, remove the plastic part from the bottle. I removed it, otherwise it's dripping water. When you put water in it and turn it over in this way, you can drip the amount of water you want. Only after a while, when it stops like this, the pressure inside the bottle can stop the flow of water. To make the water flow regular, make a small hole in the bottom of the bottle so that it gets air from here. In this way, air will enter from the above and water will flow from the below in the same rhythm. We have came to the end of another video. Share this video so that everyone can see it and comment under it. At least write a simple thank you or a feedback, such as a suggestion or thank you. If you liked the video, don't forget to click the like. If you just came to my channel, subscribe and activate the bell. See you in my next videos.